Hello everyone, welcome back to the latest uh, video, video number 19 uh, for Spenny Moor Town. And uh, as you can see from our results, our last video we checked out Arsenal under 23s, managed to win that game, and everything went well for the next three or four games. We were top of the league, we were really cruising. I thought, hey, this game's easy, we can do this at a canter this season. And then unfortunately, we've had a few really bad results and we lost to Peterborough. Don't want to get too sort of bogged down in that. Peterborough are, I think, a division higher than us and flying as well so they beat us quite easily but today we're going to put it right by hopefully beating Crawley and hopefully starting a little run uh, throughout the rest of October and uh, November when we shouldn't get too much uh, fitness problems we've had a lot of games obviously in this period so uh, not been too good but hopefully we can get better I uh, just want to show you some transfer news uh, we have got Harry Anderson joining us, remember, uh, later on in, in the season. We have loaned out Harvey Rogers and Chris Renshaw. Now, the thing that I thought I'd done when I loaned Harvey Rogers, I thought I got a mandatory fee of 10000 It's actually an optional fee. So they must have negotiated that, and I didn't see it. So that was irritating. Um, also, guys, I know you'll, you'll be watching this uh, just after Christmas, so I hope Christmas went fantastic for you. Uh, coming up to New Year, take it easy on New Year. Don't go too nuts. Um, get yourself, you know, get your goals going, all that sort of thing. Um, hopefully, we'll we'll have a good year ahead. Uh, as you can see, we have now signed a new player called Steve Seddon, and he has come from a League Two team where he didn't do too bad. Uh, but I'm not really in a position to uh, quibble, and he fits my tactics quite well, Steve, because he plays as a wing back defend but I think he can play support yeah he can all of his stats are steady away he's very interesting because his lowest stat is 6 and his highest stat is 14 but it's a fitness stat so everything's kind of bang in the middle um, so I'm hoping that he can do he, he's better than what we have um, we only have Sam Habigam who is actually playing very well but you know I always have this theory when it comes to football manager is that if you keep improving your worst player eventually you get the best team ever um, so you've just got to keep doing that. So I got the chance to sign him. He's better than what we had. So I thought, you know, I'll sign him. And at the very least, he's worth 140000 So I can hopefully sell him at some point. Um, Largi Ramanzani is away still. He has dropped off a little bit. He hasn't. He's been unfit recently. Um, the big problem we have is up front. And if we look at our goals scored, you can see that it's all of our midfielders who have scored all the goals. We haven't actually got a striker who scored more than one goal, and that's a nightmare. So to even be in seventh in League Two with the strikers that just aren't scoring, Conor Comer's doing nothing. Um, you know, Benny, Ben, Ashley Seal, 11 appearances, no goals, uh, really is an absolute and utter nightmare to the point that I'm starting to think that Jack Stretton is going to be put up front just purely on the basis that he's actually scoring goals. He's got six. Um, and that is just, I'm worried about that. That has got to get better. Uh, we are really, really struggling in the striker department to the point that I was thinking, do I terminate a loan if I can of one of my loanees and try and get a striker in because it is just bad. Um, Nadesan has not really had a chance. I think he's going to get a chance in this game. I haven't quite picked the team yet, but he will get a chance. Ben Ashley seals up front. I'm pulling him out and I'm putting in um, and I'm putting Kale and Lavery on the bench because I just need to, I need to try something. You know, I literally have nothing, nothing going on. Um, so uh, we do have a couple of injuries coming into this game and an international breaks. We've got Burn, Ramanzani, and Robson missing for various different reasons. Burn's just not fit. Ramanzani's in international duty, and Ethan Robson is carrying an injury. So those are three players that we didn't really want to be without. Um, but we, we have to be. I've got John Goddard, who's an attacking midfielder. He's in and around the team. He's a recent sign-in. Um, he could feature. Again, he can play He can play up front. And, you know, I'm open to trying him there. Um, we'll have to wait and see how Nadison does. Really, that spot's up for grabs. You know, if somebody can come in and just take that on, fantastic. I'll be over the moon. Um, so, yeah, it could be a test today. We're going to hopefully do well. Tactically, just before we go into the game, we are looking to. I'm playing Bird as a half back. I'm trying him as a half back. Actually, I'm going to play him as a ball winning 
midfielder as defender option, and I've got uh, and I'm going to play McLaughlin as an attacking centre mid. Stretton, Shodapo, Nadison, Powell pressing forward. Maybe try him as a poacher. I just need goals. As simple as that. Uh, Urkelani. I'm just going to play these guys where they're comfortable. And we've got the two. So the good thing about this, the tactics now is I want to play positive. I am um, going for... Just check these all right. Counter. Regroup. Yeah. Might try counter press actually on this one. Just because I'm going positive. And we just need we just need to try something. It's as simple as that, guys. That's the tactics, um, and we're just going to go from there. But really, we need to be working. Actually, I'm going to put work ball in the box. Where, where are we at? Yes, I have got work ball in the box. It just isn't working. None of my strikers are scoring. So there you go, guys. That is the the preview. And the very last thing I'm going to preview before we go into the game is just to quickly show you the league table, and we see that Crawley are in 14th position with a 50-50. Uh, game they're pretty close to us like we've looked before that the league's quite condensed and um, we are still in and around that I wouldn't like to drop out the playoffs but I will obviously do that and then just in terms of scouting uh, just to show you one last thing is that my scouting assignments are still ongoing and everyone's out looking at various different types of players and I'm looking forward to keeping you updated as to what we've got coming in so on to the match, I looked at the wrong screen there, on to the match, and uh, let's see how we do against Crawley, who are the favourites for this game. Kick off then, Nadison kicks the game off, and I did notice there that uh, we did, we are facing a, a young man up front, 17 year old regen for Crawley, so he doesn't look fantastic, I uh, hope I haven't jinxed that. Throw in to Seddon, making his first impression in this game. Want to see him do well, good cross, but it curls away from, I don't know who that is, but uh, anyway, we didn't, we didn't score. So first defensive duty, and we have conceded. Awful. Oh, but it's been disallowed. Let's have a look at that. Beanie, yeah, Daly was offside by quite a way, but again, unmarked. Should have done better. We're on the attack again, Sterry to Nadison. Nadison should be in the middle, really, to Shodapo. Back to Nadison, inside. And Shodapo with a powerful header, but it's in the side now. So Seddon, who's now been booked... Back to Kovar, who plays it out to Kitchen, to Nysel, to Seddon. Over the top, it's a good ball in. Nadison's got the ball, and he skies it. That was a great chance, but actually deflected, so it's a corner ball. And Sodopo is going to take it, and it's a weak corner, but it's back out to Stretton. Back to the corner taker, and it goes out for another corner, so a chance for him to sort it out and do it properly this time, hopefully, but it comes to nothing. Nice old gets the ball, passes to Bird, out to Sterry, McLaughlin back to Sterry, inside to Nysel again, to Shodapo who runs inside as he likes to do, he's going himself and he shoots and a good save from Morris to put it out for the corner, the nice move by us there, we're starting to make things happen, corner ball, Shodapo takes it again, better into the middle this time and we lose the ball and it comes to nothing again. Second half underway, made a few changes to the tactics, so let's see how that goes. Duckman, gets it on the left, passed inside to Morals, Daly, back to the full-back, crossed in, and it was offside. Again, could have been dangerous early doors. Urkelani to Nysel, out wide to Sterry, good cross in, and Shodapo gets it, and oh no, it was actually off the post, thought the goalie had saved it. Shot up over the corner, it was driven in, McLaughlin who's now in the book as well, passes back out to Kitchen, need to get the cross in if we can, outside to Nysel, inside to Goddard, it was off the post, and ooh, good chance, I've put Goddard in the attack and mid, see if we can get any goals going. So we get the ball to Lavery on the break, wide out to Shot up over, cuts inside, and it's, well, he's trying to get out to the defender, but he couldn't, Nysel over the top to Shot up over, oh sorry, seven, my apologies, and he's taken down, and that's a free kick. So can we make something happen off the free kick? No, but we get another uh, chance with McLaughlin to Nysel. Can we score? Nysel, oh, that's a good tackle. And they're going to break with Jasper, who's going at a great pace. And a great challenge there by the defender. Nysel now gets it. There's a ball over the top. Got it. Have a look. Out to Shodapo on the right. Come on. Crosses it in. Wide out. And it's a goal. And it's Stretton on the left-hand side. Get in. As you can see from the replay, Goddard passes out to Shodapo, has his head up, 
and he sees Stretton coming in from the other side. It's a great cross, and he hits it down into the ground at the near post goal. He might have thought he could have done better, but it's 1 0 at 76 minutes. Great timing. Sturry with the throw in to McLaughlin. Deep cross at the box, out to Stretton inside. A nice hole. He shoots and he scores. Get in. I'm going to make a quick change before the replay, guys, just to take Sterry off for Ben Johnson. He just needs the break. Oh, the referee's raised his flag. It's been disallowed. Oh, no way. That attacking player was deemed to be interfering with the play, and the line has given it offside. I probably disagree, but I can see why. Kalani with only a few seconds to go. Back to Stretton's forwards, and the referee has blown the final whistle. We get the win, and it's a good win for us. So after that excellent win, we are creeping up the table again. We're now in sixth position, and we do have the chance with a couple more wins to get consolidated, perhaps even challenge for that third um, promotion spot, maybe even the title. Who knows? Uh, we just got to keep going. Just looking at the schedule, it's probably going to be around about the Crew game or the Cambridge game that we come back next time. Um, and that's going to be probably the end of November. We'll probably play those games too to the end of November to see where we are and then crack on from there, guys. Let's see how we go. Got an FA Cup first round match to look forward to, and we'll just hopefully kick on. So, there we go. So, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll just finish on the league table for you. Still doing okay, but we can do better. We'll see you next time.